Hi, folks. Welcome to episode 123 of the Wealth on Any Income podcast. This is where we talk about money, tips, techniques, attitudes, information, and provide inspiration around your business and your money. I'm your host, Rennie Gabriel. In past episodes, we spoke about how to understand the numbers from your business, how to measure the level of pleasure based on where you spend your money, how to track your money in five to 10 seconds, and what determines how close you are to complete financial choice, and how to run your business without being in your business. Last week, we had international best-selling author, Dr. Lexis Johnson, and today we have as our guests, the father and son team of Possibilities Unlimited, Ralph White and Brian White. Ralph and I have known each other for over 30 years and have coached each other for about that long. We were both business coaches in a program called the Entrepreneurial Edge. And anytime someone wants a referral to a business coach, I recommend Ralph. And now I can recommend his son. Uh, Ralph began his coaching and consulting business in 1993 while still operating his sheet metal fabrication company. He shares his vast knowledge and unique approach with entrepreneurs, managers, and salespeople the world over. He's supported companies to grow from a few million dollars of revenue per year to over a billion dollars. Brian was also a participant in the Entrepreneurial Edge program and brings 30 years of successful business experience. It was primarily in sales and operations management for small to mid-sized industrial companies and inspired and instructed by his father's example, coaching and teachings, Brian decided to pivot his life's energy to giving back by joining his dad's coaching business. From Possibilities Unlimited, I bring you Ralph and Brian White. Welcome to the Wealth on Any Income podcast. Thank you, Rennie. Delighted to be here. Uh, Absolutely. Thank you. And you guys sound so much alike. We're going to have a fun time figuring out who's actually talking. Now, this is the first time, by the way, that I've had two guests together on the show. So we could stumble a little bit, but let's get right to it with some questions. Brian, tell me what you two do at Possibilities Unlimited and why. Excellent. Rennie, thanks for having us here. We really appreciate the opportunity. So at Possibilities Unlimited, we are committed to helping clients win in the game of business life. Uh, with our years of business experience and having coached over 5,000 business owners, as well as managers, and with uh, our combined experience along with theirs, we help others reduce the learning curve in time and money in the areas of business and life. We've had the honor of working with many talented people, and we combine the experience, as I'd mentioned, with their experience along with ours, and then we lead them on a path to producing exponential results at a faster pace. And, and I know from experience, that is what happens. Now, I know that you've had some health issues. I donate 100% of the profits from the work I do to various animal and veteran charities. Tell me about a particular charity that you support and what they do. I appreciate that. Yes. So we have significant inspiration in donating to the MD Anderson Cancer Center. Uh, it's based here in Houston, Texas, where I currently reside. Uh, and by giving the MD Anderson Cancer Center, we have the opportunity to make a tremendous difference in the lives of cancer patients by supporting innovative cancer patient care, research, education, and prevention programs, along with helping you know, some of the patients themselves. We consider this to be a very special place you know, for these life-saving gifts. We have invested, actually, we have a vested interest, actually, in working with that organization because I myself, along with my wife, are both patients there at MD Anderson. And MD Anderson is basically a world-renowned organization for cancer care. Well, thank you for your supporting the charities that you support. E either you or Ralph can handle this one. Who are your target markets? It sounds like entrepreneurs and managers, but give me an example of like the business sizes. Sure. 
So business owners, they, we target companies that have business owners and managers, uh, high level managers, influential managers in the organization of companies doing anywhere in the realm of $500,000 in revenue to $500 million in revenue. But what's key is they need to be committed to making a transformational difference in serving their customers and their target markets. We both know that the only way to accomplish this in, and really you know, make that transformation is by growing their profits and delivering better quality while managing for results and exceeding all of their goals. So the, really the right fit clients for Possibilities Unlimited are business owners or influential managers, I'd mentioned, that have intentions outside, completely outside of their current capabilities. Uh, they're willing to grow and expand what they do, up, what, basically what they're up to in what we call their business life. We work with entrepreneurs in all types of industries since implementing winning strategies really doesn't have any limits on you know, how one serves their customers or where. Uh, that sounds perfect. And, you know, I know that that's been accomplished. Ralph, uh, let me address this question to you. What would you say was your biggest failure, whether it was personal or business, and what insight did you gain from that? Well, Brian and I both share in this challenging experience in our partnership in that uh, I begin in a family owned business at the age of 17 and grew that business up and in, uh, into becoming a, uh, about 30 to 50 employees. And while we, and Brian were, it was one of those employees. Uh, after working together for several years, we jointly agreed, you know, we built it up. We agreed to actually sell that business and we did it for restricted stock in a publicly traded company, which ultimately had a breakdown in in sales that uh, resulted in going out of compliance with the, the big business loan that they had taken, and they ended up going bankrupt. And that resulted in a complete loss of, with no return on my investment. Yeah, so well, I, I want to inter interrupt you because I, what I remember was, you know, when you started uh, back in 1962, it was like with $400. And yes. A, and when you sold that business to the company that went bankrupt, it was for a million dollars in restricted stock. Yes. Yes, definitely. And so which I we were both, you know, Brian actually brought the buyer to us. We had created an intention to sell the business. And I we were both working on it. And at that point, you know, he come along with someone that was interested in buying it. And it turned out that the price we negotiated was a million dollars. So it was us achieving an intention that we were very much committed to. And this was so, back when a million dollars was a lot of money. Yes. And so it was a great deal. <clears throat> we just didn't bank on them going bankrupt and then us losing you know, the investment, which resulted in both of us having to transition into different work and doing something different in a different chapter in our family business. So, right. so what would the insight be? Well, the insight was, that, you know, after <clears throat> going through the eye of the needle of a double bankruptcy, because it resulted in not only did that business go bankrupt, I ended up losing a lot of money and had to go bankrupt as a result. It forced us into the next phase of our life, which is, you know, my intention at that time was, was to, sell the business and then transition into full-time coaching. And that actually facilitated the possibility of that happening. It was my original intention was that I would full-time coach and Brian would run the sheet metal business and then we'd ultimately sell it. So Brian, once the bankruptcy occurred, Brian was able to develop his own path, gathering significant amount of experience in sales, operations, and leading organizations to success. His previous 30 years of experience has now created the possibility of sharing his knowledge in our coaching business. And we're now in a new chapter of our family business, working together jointly to make a transformational difference in the lives of many business owners and managers. 
So would you say the insight is that regardless of the failure, regardless of the bankruptcy, you can still have a new and even better chapter of life? By all means, uh, you can turn a breakdown into a breakthrough. You know, in other words, it's, you, don't, uh, you can wallow in the, in the breakdown or you can find possibility and move on. And that's what we both did. And it, it put us in a, you know, ultimately in a much better position to be, for both financially and as far as, you know, creating a new future for both of us. Yeah, beautiful. And so, you know, th these are the kinds of things that you can bring to your clients as well. Do you have some examples of some of the uh, outcomes, like maybe a case study of people who've followed your advice? By all means, we have a large list. You know, I've worked with over 5,000 business owners and managers in the last 30 years. Some of the highlights of those would be I have a client that started in a, in a distribution business, and he started with me 22 years ago at $8 million a year in revenue. And we've grown that business working, you know, me coaching him and his managers up to $1.4 billion in sales. And he's now in the process of going public with that mm. business. So <laughs> it's, you know, he, and he now has an intention of being a $10 billion company. So it's definitely exponential growth. That's, that's one of our biggest successes. And, and one of the things that I also want to add to what you just said is, this is a client who's been with you for 20 years. It's not like these folks show up and they work with you for six months or a year, and then they're gone. I mean, these kind of results happened because they stayed with you for a long period of time. Yes. And I still have my very first two clients and still continue to coach them today, 30 years later. So it's, we, I do tend to create long-term relationships because I find that people that want to grow their business you know, are always going to have a challenge, always going to have some obstacle that we can work on and create an intention and deliver on that challenge. Another example of, of an accomplishment is I had a client in the high reliability circuit board business. And he created an intention of buying a boat and sailing around the world, taking a year off from his work and sailing around the world with his family. And the year before COVID hit us, he did that. He bought a 51-foot catamaran sailboat and proceeded to sail around the world. He got halfway around from New York to Australia. And then COVID hit and he parked his boat there. And it's been there for the last couple of years. And now he's taking off the second half of his trip and completing the, the journey. So that, and during the time we worked together, again, another 20 year client, you know, his business has faced every possible obstacle, hazardous waste, uh, lawsuits, breakdowns in sales, and we actually created that his business would double in size while he was on that trip. And we hired someone else as a manager and trained them to actually make that happen. So mm. that's another, another major win. You got, would you like another one, Randy? Oh, I, th I think that's good enough from, from the standpoint of going from 8 million to 1.4 billion and soon to be public to taking off for a year and then having the business double in size, uh, I would imagine any business owner who has any thought of, gee, I'm thinking of hiring a coach would want to talk to you and, and Brian. And what it also sounds like, you know, someone who would think about the idea of taking off a year and having the business get larger has got to be prepared to have unlimited possibilities in their thinking. By all means. And, and we do have a number of other clients. You, know, you, you don't have to be a billion dollar company to work with us by any means. You know, we have clients that have written books, that have grown their businesses, that have you know, increased their income. You know, like I said, with you know, the number of people that I've had the pleasure of working with, there's a lot of results that I could go on for days just <laughs> giving you a list of the things that got accomplished in that time period. And I believe you.
Uh, Brian, let me ask you this. Is there some valuable free resource that you can direct people to that will uh, further their growth? Absolutely. Absolutely. At Possibilities Unlimited, we put the words business and life together to form the word business life as a single word to acknowledge that the fact our business is no longer separate from our life, right? And they really must co coexist together. So we have a tool that best represents this distinction, and it's called the whole life matrix, which breaks down all critical aspects of business life in four quadrants, being financial viability, relationship, health and well-being, and personal awareness. And the whole life matrix is designed to have people win in the game of life by producing results in all four of those different quadrants. And the whole life matrix is available on our website for anyone to access. So it's available, you know, on, as one of the primary pages. And one can go on there and they can see how they rank themselves in each of these four quadrants and all and all the different categories within each of the quadrants. And the game here is really to provide a picture of where where one is currently at and then as they achieve their intentions which again their intentions are going to be significantly higher and daunting and bigger than any goal right where they're currently at they achieve their intentions and then they begin to progress and then see what their ranking is in a scale of one to ten on the improvement process as they continue down their path and so along with the tool on the website we actually have bi-weekly calls uh, where different business owners and managers will join us, you know, sharing or first thing that they do is they share about their breakthroughs. And then we also go through certain topics and we even share how our coaching, you know, can provide a you know powerful difference in their businesses. Uh, it, it can, in essence, be considered sort of a mastermind event held every two weeks, which is has an open invitation to anyone who wants to participate to get the firsthand experience of working with Ralph and I in achieving their intentions. It's, okay, I want to be sure that I heard this correctly. So a business owner can join one of or maybe more of these bi-weekly calls without being a client? Absolutely. Absolutely. Oh god, okay. In fact, you know, that's one of one of the ways in where some one can actually understand how Ralph and I work together in our coaching and what value we will provide for them. So it's sort of a you know, a, a test drive, if you might call it that. Yeah, I, that's exactly what I was going to call it is a, is a test drive. But yeah, a very valuable test drive. And what I'll do in the show notes is I'll put the link to that whole life matrix that you described so that anybody who goes to the show notes, they can just click the link and end up getting that whole life matrix. Is there a question that I should have asked you that would also give some great value to the uh, people who are listening or watching on YouTube? Absolutely. So, Rennie, what I would say is if you were asking the question on behalf of someone that is uh, listening and, and watching our uh, podcast here today is, you know, how quickly can we start working with you? Meaning how quickly can they start working with Possibilities Unlimited? And the answer and is? Well, we invite you to go to our website and schedule a complimentary half-hour coaching session today. Beautiful. Uh, Ralph, Brian, I want to thank you both for being on the Wealth on Any Income podcast. I want to thank, thank you. you. Yeah. Yes. Thank Go you, ahead, Randy. <laughs> yeah. It's, <laughs> it's hard to take turns. This is maybe why I have one guest at a time. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So it's been a pleasure, Randy. It, you know, Having known you for all these years and worked with you, I'm I'm very impressed with what you're accomplishing with your podcast and the contribution that you're making. So it's a it's an honor to be able to contribute to to your project and your love for animals and contrib contributing to soldiers. So uh, keep up the good work, and you know if we can help you, you know let us know. Thank you, Ralph, and thank you, Brian, and to my listeners, thank you for tuning in. You can listen to the Wealth on Any Income podcast on your favorite platform and please rate, review, and subscribe. And if you'd like to know how books, movies, and society programs you to be poor and what the cure is, then log on to wealthonanyincome.com forward slash TEDx. You'll hear my TEDx talk and can request a free 27-page roadmap 
to complete financial choice and receive a weekly email with tips, techniques, or inspiration around your business or your money. And if you'd like to see how you can increase your wealth and donate to the causes that touch your heart, please check out our affordable program, Wealth with Purpose, on our website. Again, until next week, be prosperous. Bye-bye for now.